Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a little coach haul. I've gotten a few things in the past month that I'd love to share with you, so if you'd like to see what I got, then please keep watching. First up is the Micro Rogue, and this is actually a bag charm, but I've turned it into like a little micro bag, and I've taken off the dog leash clip and kept the little coach hang tag, of course. It was pretty difficult to remove. Um, my husband had to help me, so for those of you that are going to do the same thing, definitely make sure that you got like the hand strength with the pliers to like pry it open because it's just pretty difficult. Um, then I went ahead and I bought these little D rings from this website called The Buckle Guy. I think is the proper name. I'll link it down below. But these D rings fit perfectly along like this zipper, so there's no like scrunching or anything like that they do hang pretty nicely um with whatever like chain that you're wearing i just found that these d-rings are way better than like hooking it on the in on those these tiny rings it just doesn't lay right so when you carry it like this with your chain it just looks so much better and personally i only can fit my key fob and my house keys in this but that's totally fine because when i'm out running errands my key fob is in here my card case is in my pocket and along with my phone so this is quite perfect i can't fit cards in here i just don't want to like shove them in there and then having to be like difficult it's difficult to pull them back out so i just use it for my key fob and i think it's just so cute for that and yeah so here is the smallest robe that i own for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen everything that I'm going to show, but I think it's only appropriate that I share with my Insta or my YouTube family too. So um, the newest addition to my 17 collection is the Little Rogue in Candy Pink. And I will say I'm not a big fan of pink bags. I only own three. But this one was so unique to me because it has the orange in here. It has the teak. And even the crossbody strap is a different color pink than everything else. So I just felt like with all these different colors, it was unique enough that I felt like I needed it in my collection and I do believe that this colorway is going away very, very soon. So if you're contemplating on this bag, I would definitely pick it up, see it in person before you can no longer order it. Um, so yeah, I thought it was unique enough and I definitely need it in my collection. This candy pink is way better than Coach's um, normal pinks, like rouge. Like I just do not like that, that pink color at all. I just think it's so, ugh. but this candy pink is just so adorable. Um, it reminds me of like the early 2000s when like that baby pink was really in. It's not quite baby pink, it's candy pink, but um, yeah, so it kind of gives me like a little throwback feel and kind of reminds me of Sherbert as well and I love Sherbert, so here it is. So the final bag that I have to show you is the Rogue 25 in teak and elephant print. And I just absolutely love this bag so much. It's so whimsical and fun and different. And it just brings me so much joy whenever I look at it. And of course, I love the elephants on it. When I was a little girl, I loved elephants. And I still do. But so whenever I think or whenever I see anything with elephants on it, it kind of just takes me back to like when I was younger. I used to have like stuffed animals with elephants on it. Like little clothes with like cartoons, elephants on it. Of course, Dumbo was so cute. And that movie makes me cry literally every time I watch it so the embroidered pink elephant one actually literally reminds me of Dumbo when he's having those nightmares and those little pink elephants are like marching around that scene low-key kind of scared me but that one's super cute but this one's like I yeah that one reminds me too much of that scene so I had to get this one it's absolutely adorable I cannot wait to style it and like I said, the color is just absolutely gorgeous and I just was so excited that I was able to get my hands on this because I believe that this one is going away as well. So if any of you are contemplating getting this bag, definitely get a hold of it before you can no longer order it because it is one to own for sure. Oh, and I totally forgot. I also got the matching card case. So it goes so perfectly with this bag, obviously, and the little pink one, which I'll show in just a second. So thankfully this does have teak in it, so it literally matches like so stinking good. It looks super adorable with it, and as y'all know, I love card cases. I never really carry wallets, so card cases fit perfectly into all my little mini bags, and this color combination just looks so stinking cute, so girly, yet perfect for fall, you know? 
So sticking with the theme of card cases, I have gotten a few other ones and I've gotten them for super, super good deals, um, both of which on Poshmark, brand new with tags, so I love when you find good deals like that. And it's funny because I was just saying that I'm not a big fan of like some of Coach's pinks, but this pink is so stinking cute. It is more of like a hot pink. Actually, let's see what the, the name of this pink is. So this pink is actually called Bright Cherry and is a perfect description of this pink and this along with Candy Pink are the only pinks that I do like at Coach. My other three bags are similar to this pink color here and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this pink a lot. It's just so much better than Rouge and those other muted pink tones. If you like those, I'm so sorry, but I think they're so ugly. But um, this one I got for a really great deal on Poshmark and then the other one that I was able to find, which I was so excited about, is this card case right here. Now, if you watched my August favorites videos, you will see that the Dreamer 21 that has this same little Rexy on it was my favorite bag for August because I used it so much. And I came across this card case and I, of course, I was like, okay, that's was my, it's one of my favorite bags to carry. And so of course I had to get the matching card case, brand new with tags, it's in such great condition of course, and it's gonna go with so many of my other black bags. And so, yeah, I was really excited that I found these two for a super, super good deal. The last thing that I have to show is these Coach Cora Lug Soul Loafers. The name is kind of a handful, but as y'all know, loafers are super in right now, and I'm so here for it. Um, when I was in the fifth grade, I had a pair of mud um platform loafers just just like these obviously well they were a little bit dated but these are way better <laughs> um anyway I wore those things so stinking much because they had the platform and they made me taller and it's crazy because in the fifth grade I was the tallest of one out of my friends I definitely um had my growth spurt early but then after fifth grade I was the shortest one and I'm still the shortest one. I'm only five foot. So those were like the glory days for my height back then. And I have so many pictures of me and my friends and I'm the tallest one wearing my mud loafers and they were just like the coolest thing back then. So when I um, was catching wind that loafers were coming back and Coach came out with a pair, of course I had to buy them. They're super cute. I mean, they're super simple. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they're just plain black, but they do have like this little gold detail here that says Coach. And um, I will say though that they run super true to size. I am a size five and I have a little bit of a wider foot, but these fit just fine. And as I've been wearing them, I wore them yesterday all day. And then I've worn them today to like go on and run errands. And I will say that they're already kind of like forming to my foot. So they are stretching out a little bit. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you buy like a pair of genuine leather shoes that they are going to stretch out. It is uncomfortable initially, but if they're a little bit snug, don't worry because they will stretch out as this is only like, I've only worn these twice and they're already beginning to stretch out and they feel just so much better. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to start wearing these with some really cute jeans once it gets cool enough and out to actually like wear some really cute jeans and not be like sweating everywhere, you know? So yeah, love these little loafers. All right, so that's all I have to show. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I have another something something coming later, hopefully within like next week and I'm so excited to show you guys. And um, yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. If you have any recommendations or requests, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because what's coming, you'll definitely see it on Instagram first. So make sure to follow me there. Connect with me. I love chatting with you guys. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.